in overtime, what happened while we were able to get the baskets you need in the stretch? Yeah, I think for us, um, you know, we were following them. There were some plays where we needed to make them shoot long jump shots, finish on the glass, and then I felt like some of our plays offensively were designed to make an extra pass, and we needed to kick it to somebody else. They did a great job, especially late at the rim, trying to contest everything. So we needed to keep the ball on the move. We didn't do that, and um, you know, so we came up short. Uh, some long scoring droughts in the, the second half. Uh, is that attributable to the, the defense and not being able to uh, get stops, or what can you do offensively maybe to, to spark the offense? Yeah, I think both, right? Like, so we didn't, we weren't getting stops at that point in time, and I think when we were, we had like a flow to us that felt really good. Then I think offensively, we just got stagnant. We start over dribbling the basketball, um, kind of panicked a little bit on the road. I think guys were trying to go out and go one on one, and you know, their intention is there that, hey, I want to try to step up and help my team win. But for us, we've got to keep the ball on the move. We've got to have some more balance. Um, when it's one guy dribbling and a bunch of guys standing, that doesn't work well for us. And so I think you know we used our timeouts to really try to address that and talk about it. Now, fortunately, our guys bounced back there late and, and understood how we needed to move it and attack. And I think we ended the game on a 10-0 run maybe to send it to overtime, if I'm not mistaken. How did how, you make that happen? 10, 10 points in the last minute? So I think that's all coaching, pretty much. I think it's all. No. Um, I think, look, it was our guys really fought. They were highly competitive. They had a spirit to them that they wanted to find a way. They were great in the press, um, found ways to generate some extra possessions. And then guys made big shots. I mean, Eli, I mean, was tremendous tonight uh, all through the game. But that three, he hits late. I mean, huge play. And so, uh, you know, I think our guys just really fought. That's what, you know, put us in that spot. A rough game for Amari in terms of uh, shooting the ball. Is there anything that you saw it tonight, it was the ball just not going in. What did you see from him? Yeah, I mean, look, teams are keying on him more. So he's getting, you know, he's the number one guy in the scanner report. Uh, he's getting the other team's best defender. Everybody else has a great awareness of him. Um, he's been so unbelievable for us to this point, and we need other guys to step up. The best way to free him up, yeah, you can screen for him, and yeah, other guys can do things, but we need some balance offensively. We need other guys uh, to step up for us to take some of that attention away from him, uh, or it's going to be tough. But I mean, I think he had a lot of difficult shots tonight. He's made a lot of difficult shots in other games. Uh, we've got to do a better job getting him some easy ones and keeping that ball on the move to take that attention away from him and then come back his way. You moved Donnie Tillman to the bench uh, to start the game. What was the reasoning behind that and then putting Bryce in starting line? Yeah, I think, you know, we have a very high standard in our program that everything that we do, it's important to be on time. Uh, and it's important to value uh, every opportunity that you have. And so sometimes when guys don't follow through on, on taking advantage of the opportunity to be on time, then you know we have to look at uh, different lineups and ways to do things to, to you know to send our point home of, of how important that is. He was late for or something. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah. Um, you you joked about it earlier, but is there any theme with the overtime losses? What, what can you guys do? Yeah, I mean, I think our guys, it, it shows that they're highly competitive to, to be in these games with, with really good teams. But, like, the details have to really matter late in games to get stops. You have to believe you're going to win, um, but then you also have to make that extra effort energy play, whether it's a blockout or a loose ball or a, a rebound, um, you know, and, and just find a way to finish plays. Same thing offensively, that extra pass. So I think it speaks to our guys' competitiveness that we're in this spot. But now when it comes down to winning, you have to start by not beating yourself and then also making those extra effort plays to find a way to win. Um, just in overtime, how much you guys able to get the baskets you needed? Um, I think it started on our defensive end. Uh, a lot of, we just made a lot of errors. Um, just not getting back on defense, you know, put up a shot, not getting back. Cincinnati threw it ahead, I think, to the, one of the wings and then the wings passed it to the big dunk and that just gave momentum. Um, I think, like I said, I think our defense um, dictates our offense, and I, I don't think our offense dictates our defense. So I think we lost it on the defensive end, just making little errors um, that we just we just can't make, you know, against a team that you know like Cincinnati. So hey, you had uh, 29 points, but again, uh, some long scoring droughts for, for this team. Is it all attributable to the defense, or what can you guys do offensively to maybe break up some of those long stretches without scoring? Um, get stops. I mean, there's a point we weren't getting stops and they're scoring and then we're walking the ball up and that's not our strength. I mean, we can run plays. Coach TJ is great at offense, um, but I think 
when we get stops, you know, it just motivates us on offense so we can be more aggressive. You know, we're on our heels. The momentum was on their side. They went on the run, and I think that was a pivot point. And then the game where they just went on the run and we couldn't get stops. So, you guys are uh, three overtime games this year, 0 and 3. What does that uh, say about you guys? Like, what, what do you have to do, I, I guess, uh, mentally? What effect does that have on the team? I mean, uh, positively, I'm trying to think positive. Um, I don't think any team in the country went three games in a row over time. And um, we're a new team, got a lot of new guys. Uh, so the one thing that's going to help us is experience. You know, um, great environment. You guys are going to get used to it. So when we go down the stretch in the season when we're in overtime, you know, we've been there before. So it's, I, don't, I don't think it's rattling us. I think we're disappointed because those are games we could win. And it just takes one possession, one play, one stop. And those are the things that are kind of, and that, that's what happens when you have a lot of new guys on the team. We're trying to figure each other out on the fly. So, I mean, I think positively wise, it's, 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 it's good. Obviously, everybody wants to win, but can't get down, you know what I mean? And our record's our record, but it doesn't matter what our record is in the beginning, it matters what it is in the end. So, yeah. well, it came in a loss, but the final shot for you must have been, you know, I'm sure it'll be pretty memorable for you down, down the yeah. road. What happened on that play from your perspective? Um, It was. It was Vitaly setting the drag, and I come off the screen and shoot it. But I remember a guy helped in off of somebody on the wing, and I put it behind my back, and that kind of threw me off. I should have made the right play. I should have kicked it. Um, but coach had confidence in me. He said to me, when I come off the screen, you shoot it. So you know, I'm not going to go against his word, and that's what I did. You were down 10 with a minute to go. Um, what does it say about this team to be able to respond from that and force over time? Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Like A lot of teams are just roll over quick, and we're a new team. man. Like A lot of people don't realize that. Me, Donnie, um, Jonah, obviously he's not there, but uh, like we never played with people. Like, we never played with each other before. I never played with Mbappe. So these are, like, good things that are happening to us. Those are good um, attributes and uh, traits that we have. You know, we're not going to just roll over and just call it quits. You know, we always fight back. So that's a good little characteristic we have as a team. But we just got to get over that hump and get our plays one stop at a time. And then when you were down eight, you make the free throw, you shush the crowd. Like, was that a sign of, like, the belief you had that you guys could, could make it happen in force over time? Yeah, 100%. I mean, you know, my guys feed off of my energy and I feed off of theirs. So I think, you know, showing that I'm okay, you know, in, in the midst of a moment like that, they're going to be okay. And I thought, you know, we had it and everybody's energy was great. So obviously we didn't, we didn't come out where we wanted to. But, uh, yeah. Thank cool. you.